everyone and welcome back to the North Star Legacy where we have some absolutely adorable sister bonding going on. So Zelda has been grounded. She was caught tagging the walls of Mortimer Goth's barn during a party he was throwing. She's trying to get her rebel rep up a little higher and that was probably a great way to do it but the police caught her out after curfew. She got dragged home and now she is relaxing after after having a bit of a fight with her dad because uh, he was not happy to have found out what was going on by playing all on her own with her little sister Ariel. So I'm gonna let her continue to do that because that's freaking adorable. Also, I just noticed how beautiful these lamps are and other simmers will know how you do that. You just like, you have something on their walls for ages and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's the coolest thing ever. And that's totally how I'm feeling about this right now. So this is a really awesome lamp. Look at that, it's just this beautiful scone. Oh, and I love that candle. I love the look. I love the look. But yeah, she wants to play a trick on her dad now that they had a little bit of a fight. So she's getting to be a bit of a rebel. So we might have her do that. But Darian, I'm actually going to have him cool off because he's a little bit upset from that conversation with his daughter as well. And I'm going to have him cool off by going upstairs to do some conversion rituals. He probably finds it very soothing. Let's see. And I want to cast... Um, Let's cast a bladder charm and a hunger charm on him and then go upstairs and I'm gonna make him do some conversion rituals because we have a procreation elixir and we have a wish elixir to make so Darian where did all that iron go like he has this giant stack of iron that we're gonna work on converting uh, we'll put one there I'm just gonna stick a whole bunch of them over here and then can I like come over and then cast spell We'll try doing it like three for one. There we go. So we're gonna let him try to relax. He is one elixir away from being able to fulfill his lifetime wish. And I want him to use a wish elixir because it will double, more than double how much he gets from his, uh, his aspiration points. Hmm. Ha, there we go. It just froze for like half a second. That made me so worried. There you go, Darian. Relax, unwind with a little bit of magic. He's like, yeah, that's better. That's better. All right, and then let's get Cloud and Soot interacting. Aww. He's feeling loved. Oh, and then Soot actually wants to catch a whole bunch of, bunch of creatures, but let's have him groom and socialize and nuzzle with the adorable little Cloud, because eventually I want these two to have kittens. So every now and then I need to check in on the cats to make sure they're doing all right. Aw, oh, Zelda's actually sleeping in her bed for once. That's hilarious. I guess she's grounded. Does it say anything anywhere about, like, if she can go anywhere or do anything? No, no. Sorry. Sorry, Chica. You are grounded. Stay in home. I don't know if that has, like, any effect on anything, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, and our little cow plant's hungry. It's so cute. It's just so cute. Darian, why are you, why are you, he's come all the way outside to cast his conversion rituals. You are such a dork. Okay. Why is he, is he crying? Darian, dude. Are you okay? Sometimes I worry about this man. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes he's an interesting, interesting fella. So what do we have here? Uh, unknown this. What is Franco? A oh, a hermit crab! How cute! And a light beetle, which actually, we're gonna have him give the light beetle to his daughter because Zelda does happen to love light beetles, but his other daughter needs some attention. She needs some bottles, so let's have him come over. Let's see, too bad we can't just cast spells on her, huh? Alright, snuggle. And then he can stay down here to watch his kidlet. We'll have him collect that. Because we need him to get his special little... Oh, look at Ariel. And she's actually going to probably grow up today into a toddler. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do with her? And I really want Darian and his wonderful wife, Gina, to have multiples. I just want him to have like a whole triplet set of fairies or a whole triplet set of witches and fairies. But that's going to be a lot of babies, especially because they both have things they kind of want to do. So I was thinking what we might do is we might send, ooh, uncut lapis lazuli, nice. We might send Darian and Gina and 
Zelda on a trip to the Egyptian themed like world, the the vacation world, and we'll have we'll have Ariel stay with the babysitter because she's just a wee little baby. And then we will have them go and explore, and when they come back, they'll bring a mummy back with them to be a mummy nanny. So I'm thinking about having a mummy nanny for the family. I think that would be really fun. All right, what are we gonna get, Darian? I love this, it's so much fun to convert things. It's a piranha, Darian! Good job! I think we actually need that piranha for um, some sort of potion or elixir. So let's see, and we're gonna have him I love that you can keep the fish, and then you can like, cast it on the fish bowl too. So it's like a two for one. Visual force. Ooh, a royal purple butterfly. I think we might need that. So we'll go ahead and stick it in our inventory. Just keep going on the conversion rituals. But yeah, Gina needs to level up her science skill because once she starts really leveling that science skill, she can clone any of the collectibles that Darian gets. So we can. Darian, what, what, what is that face for? <laughs> look at your, look at your goofy face. Is that the, oh, he's so handsome. I forget what, look, look at this dorky dork face. Oh, Darian, you're such a dork. All right, he's got a truffle. Um, it's a great quality. Can you plant truffles? Can we plant truffles? You can plant truffles. Okay, I'm going to let him keep that truffle. We'll plant it and we still need to make our little fairy ring outside. That'll be so fun. That's going to be so fun. Ooh, uh, come on, Darian. I'm gonna give you a few minutes of converting stuff so I can figure out what do we get. It's an unknown seed. All right, I'm giving it to your wife. She gets all your unknown seeds. Cast spell. And Ariel is gonna grow up today. Ooh, I wonder if she's gonna have purple hair or black hair. That'll be really cute to find out. All right, looks like we got a space rock. Ooh, some mercury! Oh, let's give it to Gina! We'll have him gift it to Gina. At least that's a cool thing about being a witch, is you always get random things. Oh, another light beetle! Aww. Aww, we're gonna give it, we're gonna give it to his daughter, because his daughter, Zelda, does collect light beetles that she then gives to Ginger. We might invite Ginger over today, because we haven't had Zelda just hang out with her friends for a long time. Yeah, I think we'll invite her friends over. They can be over for Ariel's birthday. All right, this is cool and all, Darian, but seriously, you gotta get that. You gotta get that one butterfly. Where'd all my iron go? Ah, honestly, Darian. All right, he's got some silver. That's cool. We'll give him to Gina so she can get him smelted. Mm-hmm. No, that's beeswax. That's boring. Come on, Darian. We've had really good luck with this in the past. Red Admiral Butterfly. Red Admiral Butterfly. You can do it. Okay, well, you know, these things are cool too. I guess you, maybe he wants a nice romantic afternoon with his wifey, because he's gathering all these metals and she really wants to smelt metals. She's still sound asleep. Ooh, another rare seed. Ooh, let's go ahead and put that in Gina's thing. All right, Darian. I, you're trying. I'm gonna give you that. You're at least trying. And Zelda's grounded, so I wonder what that means for her. She's having a mood swing from being a teenager. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> so let's go ahead. We'll send her outside. And I found out that <gasps> our money trees! Oh my gosh, what's going on? Wilting! Wilting! Don't do that! Um... Water? Water? Oh my goodness! Like... Oh my goodness! <laughs> um... So we're going to let Zelda focus on fixing the garden. That's her punishment for getting caught. Uh, it's Ariel's birthday! Today she embarks on the next stage of her life's great adventure. Why not buy her a birthday cake and throw a party? I think we will! And we'll invite over some friends. Uh-oh, Zelda seems like she's going to be a bit snippy today. Better be prepared for some more rebellious behavior from her. Aww. And Darian got some iridium. So we have... That's such a teenage thing to do too, isn't it? Like your little sister is having a party, so even though you're happy for her, you're still fussy about it. <gasps> guys! Guys! It's an octopus! Oh my goodness! I'm in love! Hello, little octopus Darian, you are amazing. 
All right, let's get let's scoop Tessa out. Teresa, I want to keep her forever and ever and ever. Oh my goodness, the little octopus. And the baby needs the baby needs attention. Change dirty diaper and snuggle. We should have her birthday today. Darian, we're gonna have your daughter's birthday today. What do you mean, oh, now we be? Oh, I forgot I put the fencing up to keep zombies out. I 100% forgot that I put a fence in to keep out zombies. And I think I forgot to put in a gate. Talk about bringing back memories from Zoo Tycoon 2. Always building those fences, always forgetting those gates. Making it hard for my uh, zookeepers to ever do anything. And making it hard for my sims to ever do anything, it seems. So, let's see. Um... I still kind of want to protect, like, everything over here. Can I just... Uh, all right. Um, am I going to do it? Am I going to protect... Okay. Let's go ahead and just remove the fencing for now, I think. I'm just going to remove it. There we go. And now make Zelda come over here and take care of everything before it dies. Tend to the plants, little one. Your your new stepmother is still snoozing in the fairy house. Good grief, she must have been exhausted. Oh, is my little baby girl? Yeah, there you go. Oh, what's the matter, Ariel, huh? Alright, let's see. Should we get her a little a little like birthday cake? Let's see. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Surprise phone call! But while I was on the phone, I was more eager than ever to grow up little baby Ariel because she's just so freaking cute and she's been a baby for forever. And so I would really, really love for her to grow up. Um, And let's see. Let's double check. Her favorite music is Beach Party. She loves mushroom omelets. So that's a good thing with a fairy. As a mom, we can have some mushrooms, some fairy uh, mushrooms going on. She loves... The color of violet, she's easily impressed and she's friendly. And so actually, I think I'm going to make Gina wake up and drink some pollen punch. And I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I don't think Zelda, since she just got grounded, would really be allowed to invite her friends over for her little sister's birthday party. So I think she's just going to have to put up with it for now. She's going to take care of the garden as her punishment for being grounded and to keep my very rare ghost chilies. <laughs> And everything else from dying! Oh my goodness! My watermelon vines! Oh! The summer festival has arrived in town. Join your friends. Too bad she's grounded. Too bad you're grounded, Zelda. So sorry about that. But yeah, Gina's gonna take care of that. Darian apparently wants to go play with his cat. He's getting a phone call, actually. Who's calling him? Who do you know, Darian? Great Greens. Hi, this must be Darian. My name is Amanda Pelletier, and you could say I'm a pretty well-known chef. I've heard you've got some great produce, and I'd love to try a sample. If they're good, you might find yourself becoming quite famous around the town. What? Deliver five harvestables of at least great quality to Amanda Pelletier. Celebrity points in Simelonians? Sure? Like, I guess we already have five qualities of great... Okay, never mind. I guess, Gina, you stay home. Never mind, Gina. Why are you in your wedding gown? <laughs> She's so funny. So I'm going to let Darian go do that then. Gina's going to change into her everyday wear. And she's going to research science. Oh, and also maybe... Uh, uh, okay, I'm just going to go ahead. What, Gina? What the heck? A cozy fire. Oh, that must have been from the goth's place. That she has the cozy fire moodlet from. So let me see. Iridium. Let's see that silver let's do that mercury gonna hand it over to gina oh alabaster nice gem and then we're gonna have her actually get them smelted all of her gems get smelted get smelted get smelted uh, analyze space rocks yes analyze all space rocks i think that would be cool so we're gonna let her go ahead and get those things smelted darian should wake up Darian, and go deliver your harvestables, Darian, and then go get your daughter's birthday cake, Darian. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Gina, yeah, she's sending those things off to be smelted. I guess Zelda could babysit her sister while she's here. Gina, it's okay. 
Is she sad because a plant died? Your daughter is on it, don't worry. Oh, and then we'll send Gina over here actually to excavate these, these little ruined spots like we were going to yesterday. All right, Gina, you doing good? Darian's off to deliver the harvest bowls, riding on his broom. I guess that would get you some celebrity points. You unlock the Spacious Curiosity Achievement Badge. Yay? Gina? Darian Northstar just went to a, a hot spot nightlife. Okay, bookstore, great. Whoops. Astounding. It's usually Romarium, one of the... It's actually Romarium, one of the rarest space rocks in existence, and far more precious than originally thought. It is valued at $63. Ooh, she got a lot of rare space rocks. Look at your, uh, your wonderful husband. Oh, who wants to cast? We're going to let him. He, of course, I make you cast convertible spells all the time, Darian. All right, what about this one? Ooh, can I get those smelted now that we, like, analyze those space rocks? Nope, they're just going to sit inside her inventory, I guess. Well, maybe we'll put them in Darian's inventory because maybe he'll get abducted as a result, which would be amazing. <gasps> Look, and we have a flame fruit. Oh, I want to do a horticulture experiment on it. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Oh, and Darian's at the, pl the place already. Jeez Louise. That was fast. Um, let's see. The birthday inferno cake. And I'm going to have him get his wife some flowers. And, um, wow. Firecracker International Bundle, huh? Let's get, yeah, let's go ahead and just get a couple of those. Why not? Buy items. And then we'll send Darian home. How's Zelda doing on those trees? Get my money trees alive, sweetie. Oh, Zelda, there's some things. I see. I see. Oh, there's flowers. Oh, my gosh. Where'd the, where'd the little bugs go? We'll have her catch the little bugs. See if that's what your dad needs to grow some things. Where's your mom? Over here. Oh, Gina. Oh, isn't she just adorable? I think that, like, a nice trip is actually in order we'll send the older members of the family off on a nice little trip and gina can just have her heart totally happy by excavating i think that'd be adorable mm -hmm. there you go gina Oh, thank goodness. The tree's okay again. Can I harvest this thing? Ah, oh, why can I never harvest my money trees? I heard that there's a glitch where if you bloom your money trees while they're in dormant state, then you won't be able. Gina! Oh my gosh, she's getting so rebellious. She just wants to skip school and everything now. I'm going to let Darian take a nap before we, we have the baby grow up. All right, you go ahead and take a nap, Darian. I want you to be able to enjoy your new toddler daughter. Why did you not deliver the harvestables? <laughs> I guess we'll have to have him do that again in a little bit. All right, Gina's busy excavating. All right. Keep our plants alive, Zelda. She's gaining some gardening skill. Ooh, Gina's North Star has found a pushable statue fragment. Three out of five pieces collected. All right, go Gina! Did we get any common relics? No, not at all. So maybe that's not how you get common relics. All right, we'll let her go ahead and come over here and research science for a little while. In fact, maybe we'll do uh, the horticulture experiment. Let's have her do the horticulture experiment. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We will science. Apparently, there's a cozy fire in our house. And we don't have a fireplace to my knowledge, so I'm slightly concerned. Uh, let's do it on the Maui bean. We have the most of those. Yes. Maui bean. Ooh, <gasps> look at that. That's so cool. They're typing Simlish on the little computer. Isn't that like the coolest thing? All right. All right. What's what's Gina doing? Okay, she's putting it in. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Is that you? Why are you crying? I swear, my sims, they get so sad about their plants. Is it about this one? Just dispose of all the dead plants, sweetie. It's not a big deal. You'll get more. They, it happens. I love how she's still happy from the great party. <laughs> Horticulture success! Gina Northstar successfully strengthened the genetic code of the Maui bean and increased its quality to very nice. That's, that's pretty cool, actually. I like that. 
Aww, she picked up her little bean. Oh, look at her. She's adorable. And just wait, Gina. Soon we, be, we will be cloning more and more goth inside of this machine soon. Should be pretty interesting. But all right, guys. I'm going to let her research science for a little bit just until Darian has a teeny bit more energy. And then we will grow up baby Ariel. And we'll see what kind of little wee one she makes. She'll no longer be a little larva. Wonderful. And meanwhile, Zelda, Zelda has to continue taking care of the garden to apologize for being a rambunctious teenager, I suppose. All right, so I'll see you guys. Oh, that's so cute though. Look at her little bumblebee, bumblebee wings all just sitting in the garden. Isn't that just adorable? Man, this is so pretty. But all right, I will see you guys next time as we continue to grow the family. I'm thinking we might send them, they've got a lot of money, so I'm thinking we might send them on their vacation sooner rather than later, but I would definitely love if we can at least finish Darian's lifetime wish. So we might be delivering those harvestables and then collecting a lot of bugs pretty soon to try to see if we can find the bug we need for Darian to be able to get his wish elixir. So I'll see you guys next time for little Ariel's birthday. Bye bye